Oh God, this is crazy. Oh, you crazy. My Somehow can't do without it. Almost without it. Oh, this is so crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let me kill a little time here. How y'all doing out there? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, This story right here is too crazy, so I'm going to let a little bit more time pass because it is so pathetic that I want you to hold on to your seats. And basically, this is dedicated to all the women out there. All the women out there, I really would like for you to just imagine. Uh, imagine, imagine, imagine. Now, I'm not going to discriminate, and I'm not saying that the fellas wouldn't understand this. But what I'm saying is, it's so repulsive that I think that only... um a woman could really get the gist of this because it's too pathetic. And um, I don't understand what kind of mental evaluation that the doctors go through, but this is one of the worst stories I've ever heard in my life. Um, Anyway, it said, woman discovers her gynecologist is also her biological father. Okay, now, I hope y'all heard what I just said. I said that a woman so finds out thinking- uh-oh, that her gynecologist is her father. Okay. Now, I'm just going to play the article first, and then I'm going to come back. David Berry spent 37 years thinking he was Italian-Irish until he took a DNA test. There was no Italian. There was, there was no Irish, any of the things that I was led to believe. The shock of a lifetime. His dad was not his biological father. David became a DNA detective, unraveling his biological history. I got this message, and it said... I think we're related. Discovering he and 36-year-old Morgan Helquist are half-siblings. I grabbed his face. I just looked at him. I was like, why is your face on my face? <laughs> like, I just couldn't understand. That's the craziest experience I've ever had. But they kept finding more and more half-siblings. Then there was five of us, and we were all the same age, and six, and then seven. And oh. it started to feel like, well, if there's seven, there might be 20. And if oh. there's 20, there might be 100. And I started to feel terrified. The half-siblings had more than just DNA in common. Uh, David and Morgan say their mothers used artificial insemination using the same fertility doctor in Rochester, New York, Morris Wartman. A biological daughter, Wartman, raised agreeing to take a DNA test uh, to try and fill the missing puzzle piece. The result, David says, she matched him, Morgan, and all the siblings. I am the product of something that should have never happened with a an unconscionable violation of ethics uh, at a minimum. He's someone I can't escape uh, because his DNA is in me, his DNA is in my son. I wrestle with that. From the first time I held my son, that man was in the room with me. For Morgan, the story takes a darker turn. Uh, For the previous decade, Dr. Wartman was also her gynecologist. Uh, How did you tell your mother mm. when we found out? Like There wasn't any need to tell her I was screaming. And sobbing at the top of my lungs. Mm. Helquist filing a lawsuit against Wartman in September, mm. alleging, among other things, that he committed medical malpractice by treating her when he likely knew he was her biological father. Wartman's team denying the charges. In your view, what has he done? He knew the whole time who he was, and I didn't. He took away that choice for me. 
Both Morgan and David's mother say Wartman told them he was using sperm from an anonymous medical student. David's mom still reeling from the news. He had my permission to use a donor, specifically medical student. He did not have my permission to use his own sperm for a donation. It feels like a sexual assault. The problem is it doesn't meet the definitions of sexual assault or, or battery in a lot of ways. And so um, there was no criminal violation because there was no law that covered this particular act. Seven states specifically penalize physicians for fertility fraud. Others, like New York, only have laws pending. For now, Morgan is the only one of the half-siblings who may have a legal cause of action. I do not have a fertility fraud case. I have a case because he touched my body without my consent. Morgan says, despite the pain, there is a silver lining. David and my siblings are, are it's not even bittersweet. It's that they're the the shining glue that holds me together during all of this. Ah. 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 Did y'all hear that? Oh my God. How could he be so disgusting and pathetic and crazy? How? How could he go down and be the gynecologist of his own damn daughter and he knew he was her biological father? So now you, I mean, this is what a mind fuck. What a f Listen, the girl said when she found now she couldn't stop crying. I, I still be crying right now because this is the most filthiest story. Oh, God. Okay, family. I, 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 I'm going to let it go. I want to hear what y'all got to say about it. Please leave your comments below. Because this was a sexual assault. If the mother thought that she was using some young sperm and then found out that it's the damn doctor himself. And then her daughter goes to the same gynecologist. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay, leave y'all comments below because I can't. I'll see you in the next video.